Ultimate Driving just got its biggest update yet. Ultimate Driving 2.0 is now out, featuring two overhauled maps, a teleportation system, and many many more. And I'm going to be going through all of those features in this video, also giving my own review and opinions about this update. Anyways, without further ado, let's get on with this video. In the new Odessa map, there is now an improved downtown section, and I think this part actually looks pretty cool, because like, you know, we got these um, bike lanes and stuff, and the buildings just look more detailed and unique, and the street overall just feels like, it feels really cool to drive through. It's like you're driving through a little small town, and just feels nice, honestly. The Bordenville and Odessa got their names switched. So before the update, this used to be Odessa, and this used to be um, Bordenville, but now when the 2.0 update came out, they uh, had decided to change it. Now, I think there are a good few reasons for why they did this. You know, like the main game's called Odessa, so they're going to make Odessa the biggest city on there. And um, because that's the main like city focus for the game. So I think it really makes a lot more sense to switch the names and to put Bordenville over here. But it just kind of feels weird because I was used to Bordenville being here and Odessa being there. But, um, you know, the na uh, the town has also got expanded. Um, uh, they got some more new buildings and houses here, which before th this wasn't here, this would just be empty uh, grass. But now they actually got some more houses here, which... Uh, expands the town and makes it a lot bigger. I think this is probably the biggest um, city in uh, the Ultimate Driving Universe, and I personally really, really like it. So, nothing really to complain about. The only thing I would do here is I'd make an interchange here. As you see, um, they sort of did that over here, but it's kind of like just... Um, if they made like a whole... Um, you know, interchange here, I think it'd be a lot better, so, yeah. Now, this interchange here has gotten completely redone. Before, um, it used to be a bit different, but now, um, it's a lot better now, and it looks a lot cleaner, in my opinion, honestly, and I really, really like it, but, um, this whole highway right here has also gotten a change as well. Um, it kind of, like, goes a bit up and down now, which I think looks pretty cool. And, uh, this interchange also has gotten reworked. It also looks pretty cool, in my opinion. Over here, there used to be another interchange, but I guess they got, uh, they got rid of it. Because, if you remember in the old map, they used to have an interchange here. But I really don't know why they got rid of it, honestly. Now, this is a new part of the update. This is called Betts Ferry, and this is a new town in the, uh, Odessa overhaul. And I think this is a really... Neat looking small town. Um, I'm assuming it's like a fairy town because I don't know, maybe a fairy would load on here. Right now, there are no fairies in the game, but I'm pretty sure it'd be cool to, you know, have some. Now, I want to go over some parts of the update, especially mainly on the highway where I just feel like it's rushed and incomplete, and parts of the update that just really bother me. I don't know why, but I just wanted to address it in this video, anyways. So it mainly involves this interchange right here. You notice how there's no sign that like shows the exit or whatever or like no um, wall to like so you don't drift off to the side. Um, I really don't know why they redid this interchange. I mean the interchange before was completely fine and I really do not know why they uh, changed it. But... Um, yeah, they got no sign here, and it just feels really poor quality and not, like, built. And, like, what the heck is this? It's, like, I don't know. It's just, you guys might not have a problem with it, but I, for some reason, have a problem with it. I really don't know why. Um, right here, it looks, it's completely fine. I, I really don't have a problem with this. Um, this right here, though, is just really lazy work, honestly. Like, you see how this is? Like, this is really lazy. I'm sure they'll fix it in the future, but this one, like, definitely has to be fixed because the lanes are just so, like, not lined up properly, and it's just so weird. I really don't know why, how they'd screw up this badly, but, again, I'm sure they'll fix it, but I don't know. I'm really bothered by this. I really hope they do fix this because it's just, like, oh my gosh, what the hell? 
Another thing is that on the map, they got Newark and Delancey George completely removed. And I... Newark, I understand, because they were... Newark closed down, like, about four years ago. And the developer of the game was trying to revamp it, but... It's been four years, and the revamp still isn't here. But I really don't know why they got rid of Delancey George. Maybe... Um, when they update the... Because they actually put the Delancey Drome speed complex, but I kind of wish they also had the regular map in as well, because that would be pretty... That was a pretty cool... Um, it was a pretty cool ultimate driving game, because it was more like a mountain exploration, dri uh, exploration driving thing, with like, it had a ton of mountains and stuff, and it was really cool. Now, the part that's the coolest, and the one I've been waiting for for so many years... Is to teleport from map to map and i really think this is the best part of this one of the best parts of these uh, this update because um before if you wanted to say go from here from odessa to westover you'd have to uh leave the game and come join the westover game but not anymore because you can just teleport automatically now which i find um really 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 which i find really um good and uh useful so I'm really glad they added this, you know, so many people have been asking for this update. And the cool part is that it teleports you exactly where you were, so you can just continue driving like you were still on that freeway, and I think that's really cool. Now with the Westover map, I I don't think much really changed here, honestly, for the 2.0 update. Like, a lot has changed in general since the last time I've been here, like this bridge and everything else, but... Um... For the 2.0 update, they mainly just revamped Odessa and uh, the uh, Delancey George, which we'll go over right now. The front page of the game has also gotten a massive overhaul. Now you can choose what job you want, and you can also choose what servers you'd like, and it would, and you can decide where to spawn as well. So that's also pretty nice. For the Delancey George update, they completely got rid of the uh, Delancey George town. As you see, it's nothing's here anymore. And they instead added the Delancey Drome Speed Complex, which is a 13-mile racetrack. And um, as you see, this um, map is more designed for racing instead of like town roleplay, which I think it's kind of a good idea um, to do this because if you combine like real life realistic driving and racing it really doesn't go well together so it's good that they have a separate separate map all just for racing now i'm going to traverse this entire um track in a time lapse so Whoa, okay. Oh my gosh. And they didn't they turned collisions off on that. Wow. Okay, look. Oh my god. There's no way I'm going to get out of here. Look at this. I don't even know where I am on the map, honestly. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Okay, that was pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't even care anymore at this point. And that is it for this video, everyone. I really like this update a lot. It truly, um, you know, Odessa and Delancey George truly needed an update. Well, I don't really think Delancey George really got updated. They just added a speeding race track thing or whatever. But I'm really glad that Odessa did get updated because I really felt like it did need to get updated. And it's pretty cool now. I really like it. And I'm a big fan of this update in general. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.